Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are doing more side quests. There was a group of them that I specifically was interested in, and that's the Goddess Statue of Wisdom, Power, and Courage. And each one of these, it sort of has the same text. It says the Goddess Statue of Sp of the Spring of Wisdom is troubled by her inability to sense the Mother Goddess statue in the vast canyon. She asks you to check on the statue and return with your findings. Each one of them wants us to go to the one in the vast canyon. So, will getting one of them done get all three of them done, or will each one have a different associated quest? I'm not quite sure. So that's what we're gonna find out. So we've returned to the temple of whatever this is. I forget what this is called. Uh, the Forgotten Temple. This is of course where we've met up with uh some people before that I'm forgetting the name of when it came to like the memories and stuff, I think. Or maybe it was yeah, the geoglyphs. Oh, here you are. Yeah, you fell over. The goddess statue has been toppled. Oh my. Goddess statue of wisdom updated. The vast canyon turned out or turned out to refer to the forgotten temple where you found a great goddess statue that had been toppled over. Report the bad news to the goddess statue of the spring of wisdom and the same thing to the power and courage one. Interesting. What's gonna happen when we do this? Is such a weird set of quests. But yeah, right down here, we have the Spring of Wisdom. I'll go refer to this one first and we'll see what happens. Okay, it looks like we're headed just down this way. We have this uh, statue to interact with. And there was a shrine down there. I don't have that shrine. Whoa, maybe I should do that while we're over here. Uh, the Spring of Wisdom. Hi. So I guess we're explaining it. Is this true? The goddess statue in that canyon has toppled? These are ill tidings, devout swordsman. That is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me restore her. Seek the blue spirit Nydra, who chills the air at, around her as she dances across the heavens. When you have gleaned Nydra's claw, offer it at this spring. Who's Nydra? I just want to see what they say. A spirit who takes the form of a great blue dragon, long in shape. If you search the skies, you may spot Nydra near this fairy spring. Devout swordsman, lend me your aid. What's Nydra's claw? I speak of the sharp claws shrouded in cold on the tips of the blue spirit's limbs. The one who approaches too closely puts themselves at great risk. Shoot from afar and a fragment should fall safely to the earth. I'll take care of it. Please, I beg of you. So now, goddess, the goddess statue of the Spring of Wisdom was saddened to hear that the great goddess statue has been toppled. She asked you to help her restore it. Offer the blue spirit Nydra's claw at the spring, which I don't know if I have. If we organize everything here by type, and I look around, you know, we have some of the claws for some of the different dragons. I just don't know if we have Nydra specifically. Um, Cause down this way, if we keep going, there's a lot of monster parts. <laughs> And is that always organized the best ways? We have Light Dragon's Talon, Nydra's Claw. Okay, so I do have it. So I do just want to make sure we back up over here before I give it to you. I take a picture. Oh, too late. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the Mother Goddess statue. For this perilous deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. We we'll get a sapphire. Awesome. There are two other goddess statues who guard the springs as I do. For the sake of the mother goddess statue, I ask that you assist them as well. So goddess statue of wisdom complete. To restore the toppled mother goddess statue, you offered the blue spirit Nydra's claw at the spring of wisdom. Assisting the goddess statues at the other springs will apparently help restore the mother goddess statue. So before we make our way over to the other shrines, like I was saying before, the, I guess the, whatever they're called, the, the little ponds, we are going to go over here, because I saw a shrine that I definitely just want to get out of the way if possible. Where did it go? Hmm. It was right in this direction. I think that was it. We definitely don't have that one. So if I could just fly down there and get that done, we're trying to get all the shrines done, just any one of them that I can find easily would be great. We are freezing. Let's fix that. Here we go. So this one might just be a nice one to pop out of the way. But as we got closer to it, yeah, it's getting more shrouded. Was there another one? I feel like it was closer. I guess not. I'm not seeing too much else. Definitely would be nice to get this done. Just another, you know, part of the game where we can teleport around more easily. Yep, tell me about the Shrine of Light nearby. I know all about it, don't worry. 
little bit closer. And this one's ready to go. It doesn't need a, uh, what's it called? It doesn't need any kind of quest. But I do see you over here. I might as well do this. You know, usually I'm trying to save arrows, but this would give me enough rupees that I think, okay, that's all you're gonna give me, um, that I can probably just get a lot more in return, maybe. Uh, that seemed pretty nice. Let's get over here and get the shrine done, and then we'll check out that cave that it's running off to. We got the Jakais Shrine. Let's head into this one <laughs> and get it done. Ooh, so for the Jakais Shrine, jailbreak. Whoa. What do we do for this then? Um, looks like we're just trying to climb all the way to the top. But I guess to do that, we need to move a bunch of blocks around. Interesting. Oh, I think I might already see more or less what we're expected to do here. We'll definitely have to ascend up some blocks like this one over here. If I move this here, I can ascend through it just like that. Gotcha. So from here, I can jump over to this one, move this over, if it lets me. There we go. And then just go up. So just grabbing, moving, and ascending is our main goal. And then I could just, I think it's yeah, center this. It seems pretty easy. Not quite at the top of it just yet, but that's gonna be some amount of progress, at least for now. Heading into the second room. There's the treasure chest. Don't I just ascend through this? Pretty simple one. I'll take it though. Take that open. And we'll get a magic staff that I don't need, but I will drop something for it for a moment. Sure. And then drop it, pick that up, keep it moving. Okay, so the tricky part here I see is that we're supposed to stand on this thing before it like falls off, which if I did that and I was really quick with it, would it work? Yeah, what? okay. <laughs> just have to pay attention to the weight distribution and we're fine. Wait, is, oh, I'm in jail. What do I do? Uh, oh no, I see why it's called jailbreak. Wait, what What do I do? How do I get out? Um, help, help me. Oh, here we go. I was gonna say, we're just trapped here forever. We have to restart the shrine somehow. We're good. So I just plop that down, go up this way. You can do it. Nice job, Link. That's another shrine down. A pretty quick one too, but I like that one. Fun concept for sure. Okay, so with that shrine done, like I said before, there is a cave here. I do wanna try to get these done now and not save them for later, just because if not, I might end up forgetting about it. So if we go into here, let's see how quickly we can get this cave done. It looks like there might be more than one entry? Maybe it's just splitting up. Uh, Walnut Mountain Cave. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> Looks like we already got some company in here. I'll have to deal with that soon, but in the meantime, while we're heading over, might as well just get whatever I can if it's a little bit of flint or diamond. Diamond, yes! We're building our diamond collection. Again, that's great, we're up to four of them. I need 10 at the minimum to sell those to uh, that Gerudo again. But I will. <laughs> save that for a bit. I do see these, which usually that either means it's Misko's treasure or it's uh, a bunch of horror ones. Uh, they're definitely gonna see me here. Uh, let's do that. And then maybe I could just, there you go. Get myself into a bunch of triple, see ya. Boom. Hold on, hold on. That got some of you. Let's see what I can do here. I, I, I definitely have some weapons that can pack a punch. We should start with the Master Sword. They're attacking some of my friends, so that gives me the chance to get in there. Oh no, here we go. Uh, oh no, they're oh, protecting the boss. I thought I could jump past that. Didn't quite work. And you're gonna die to the fire, so. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Luckily I survived that. Come on, just slice you a couple of times. Oh, you got your shield up. Maybe I'll hide behind the big guy. There we go. And our master sword broke. That's fine. We just move over to the next thing, the silver horrible one. Hammer, whatever it was. Gotcha. Are we gonna knock you off the side? I wonder what happens if we do. Is there water down there? Oh, I dodged that one. That was pretty cool. Come on. Oh, see ya. <laughs> it looks like there's still some stuff down there. So uh, let me pick up what I can first. 
a bunch of monster guts and pieces and stuff. Oh, and a bomb flower. Got it. Have I taken pictures of ice keys? Hold on. Yes, okay. I was just wanting to make extra sure of that. Where did you get? You're right here. Gotcha. Just so that I can finish you off really fast. There we go. Now you, I don't want to deal with. Okay, not good. Wiggle out of that, wiggle out of that. Boom. And then, come on. <laughs> that was silly. Get me out of this so I can start attacking that thing. I want to use a silver boko spear, sure. There we go, that was nice and easy. It looks like, you know, there's quite a lot of icicles here. Ooh, I'm gonna grab that. Oh, got it. And it has royal shield. Nice. Don't have the space for that, but that's okay. Um, See, a couple of these. This one just seemingly has a monster in there. It's definitely one of those offos. But this. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that I don't have <laughs> that one ruby shield anymore. It just disappeared. Um. Let's go ahead and do this. Maybe if I just stand, yeah, standing next to it's enough to melt it, so I'll do that to speed up the process a little bit. We'll open up this treasure chest, and inside, we get a giant boomerang. Uh, Pretty sure we've taken a picture of this, but I will drop something just to take it to make sure. Um, yep, okay. Just like to be on top of those things. Over here, a couple of giant bright bloom seeds, and more than that, we get another golden rock. There's a chance. We could get, you know, a diamond. It's not a diamond, but a ruby is one of the next best things. I don't know what's more expensive, a ruby or like a sapphire. It might be around the same price anyways. But definitely worth picking up. Back over here, we get the amber. I know that the frog was down in that direction. It seems badly damaged, so. There was another one right there. So if I can break this, just like that, then you know what? Here. Going over to you. Ah, oh, I missed you. Okay, that's fine. I can pick up another one and just combine that with a, another rock at some point. I will go over here, knock you out and get another bubble gem. I'm trying to stack up on these as much as we can and that definitely helps. We're up to 30. There's gotta be more to this cave though because it keeps going. And once again, I see those little things that could end up leading us to Misko's treasure. This cave is huge though, it sort of just keeps going. And we definitely missed some openings before, I'll have to go back for them, but, oh, this already has a little thing on it. I don't know if it's the best for breaking rocks, it's more of like an ax shaped one. So if I see any rocks, I should probably combine it with that instead. But I do see two bomb flowers, one there, and then one up here. If I can get that really fast, thank you. And then we can go and fight you. So, hold on, weapons, destroy fused material, use it with this, much better. Back to this now. I'll just wait for you to stick out your tongue. Come on. Yeah, yeah, there it is. And then, gotcha. Let's see what you have for us. Oh, two bundles of arrows, that's nice. The like likes, always giving um, fantastic rewards. A royal bow is a nice thing to see as well. 38 damage is pretty good. Um, not compared to these, but it's still decent. I think maybe I'll just drop this one then because it's almost on the way out anyways. It's only one damage more. Sure. Heading back over here, another golden one. Yes, all right. I need to switch to the appropriate weapon. We'll get an amber and sapphire. Spending a lot of time in caves, we're really building up more of our collection of things again, which is great. Because for a while now, we've been really low on giant bright bloom seeds, we've been really low on certain things. So just to be able to build that stuff up again is great. It looks like there's an alternative entrance over here. Wow, yeah, we went right through the Walnut Mountain. That's cool, and like sort of good to have it marked on our map. Can run over here and get this Korok seed as well, but I wanna get back in there, because I really think that there might be a Misko's treasure or something. Oh. Uh, where'd it go? Right there, gotcha. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, so with that done, 19 in total, I would like to get back over there. It looks like there's more monsters to fight to get some horrible ones. Oh, you spotted me, huh? Back to this thing. Uh oh, I didn't quite get you. <laughs> All right, ow! 
Get out of here with that. I'll beat you up real fast. Come on, run over, get another jab. There you go. See, we're back up here now, where there was, like I said before, there was at least one more entryway. Could end up not be much. Oh, come on. Oh no, don't hit me with that. They're all crawling at me and I ugh, don't like it. Okay, whatever, let's deal with you while I have the chance. Ready, grabbing away. Oh no, see ya. Actually, that's totally fine. Got you now and you're falling down. I don't know if they can get back up to me very easily from there. I can pick up the arrows that I missed with. And definitely break that open for more and more. Before they roll away, I gotta get them. So what's up on top of this thing? Oh, a treasure chest. Sounds nice. What do we get inside? A soldier spear halberd. Don't really need it. Don't really need it at all. I will take all those back in this direction then. I see that giant icicle thing. What is in that? It looks like a shield maybe? Hard to tell from here. But you can see, like, it almost looks like it's pointing this way, you know? There you go, check this out. And I will let you in, yes it is! It's more Misko's treasure! This one is all frozen though, so let's go ahead and do this. And then maybe, just a quick jab. What do we get inside? So nice to find more. We get the barbarian leg wraps. These leg wraps were favored by a warlike tribe from the Farron region long ago. They're adorned with traditional markings that bolster your fighting spirit to raise your attack power. So if we organize this by set again, where is it? I got the armor and the leg wraps. We just need the face piece for it. So hopefully we can find that soon. That would be fantastic. So what else is there to do in this cave? I'm not quite sure, and we got this guy. Okay, that's largely unfair. It was not touching me, hi. Get out of here. I am bothered right now. Um, I'm using up all my fairies recently. Let's get out of here. We got that one done. We need to go and work on the other things. Uh, if we go back over here to this, the other goddess statues need my attention. So we should absolutely be working on that for now. We have the goddess statue of power. Same thing with that one, we just have to go to the spring of power, which is way up here. So let's get to it. All right, so I was heading over, but look at this. We got another Addison one that I haven't done. So might as well try to figure this out as we're getting stormed on. Interesting. I think with this, I would wanna get one of these. We'd wanna get a post along with it. Just like that. And then for the attachment, I might want to wait until I make sure I can line everything up correctly. But I'd want to place this down, maybe even like this, if that'd be more stable. Got it. And then one more of these should be all we need. I think like, oh my gosh. Uh, really? Did that just happen? No, that was the piece I needed. I don't think this, will, okay, I'll, I'll I'll load back in. That was so silly. I guess I've also never been over here. Oh man. Okay, I'm waiting for the lightning to strike. Once it strikes, then I can go back over there. Okay, so pick this up, turn it like that, and then I should just be able to slide it in just like that. Very cool. So as long as you can, let me talk to you. Ugh. I hate it when this happens. Move it over a little bit. That might make you happy. There we go. Try letting go. And that stays super steady. There we go. Okay, quickly, before the lightning strikes and destroys it all. All right, Um. there we go. So you're gonna put that there. And that'll be another, another sign figured out. Glad to have that done. I don't know how many more of these I have left, but uh. What do we get this time? A red rupee. <laughs> and of course, some more food that I can definitely make the most out of. And then lastly, a puff room. Ah. All right, well, good luck with your other sign expeditions here. I'm sure I'll run into you eventually. Anyways, with that done, we're still trying to get to this one area. So I just need to keep running over here. Ow. We'll pick up whatever stuff we find along the way. 
Yeah, we've been down this way before. It was just, I guess, that one path I hadn't touched too much. So how else would we have started this quest if we hadn't interacted with this? So here it is. This is the Spring of Power. And with this one, we'll have to figure out what piece it wants. Probably from the dragon from here. So let's see. Is this true? The goddess statue in that canyon has toppled? These are ill tidings, devout swordsman. That is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me to restore her. Seek the red spirit Dinra, wreathed in flame as she dances across the heavens. When you have gained Dinra's claw, offer it at this spring. Okay, so I know what Dinra is and uh, the, the claw. Let's see if I actually have it. All right, so, as you can see here, offer the red spirit Dinra's claw at the spring. If I take a look at my uh, stuff, do I have Dinral's claw? Is the big question now. Um, cause these are horns. Claw should be down here maybe? Dinral's claw. So the other one that's gonna ask for, I don't have, but at least I have this one. And just like before, I should probably try to make sure I have a picture of it before I offer it to you. Um, oh no, it doesn't even let me take a picture of it. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'll put this down over here and drop it. So there we go. Very cool. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing. We get a ruby. Thank you. There is one last goddess statue who guards a spring as I do. For the sake of the mother goddess statue, I ask that you assist her as well. All right, so goddess statue of power completed. To restore the toppled mother goddess statue, you offer the red spirit Dinral's claw at the spring of power. Assisting the goddess statues at the other springs will apparently help restore the mother goddess statue. So the last one we have to do is the goddess statue of courage. And what might be difficult about this one is I don't have the claw for this dragon. So I guess we should really look around a little bit and try to make extra sure that wherever it is, I can get that dragon claw first. All right, well, it took me a while of looking around, but eventually I have found Feroche. And with Feroche, like I said before, I'm assuming we need to find the claw. Why would it be two claws and then like some other thing? So if I could just get right here, I can fire at that and then try to grab it really quick. Got it, Feroche's claw. A valuable claw that once produced lightning. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It can also be cooked or sold for rupees. But well, we're not quite done. I figure if we're here, maybe I should at least run across the back really quickly, get a couple of these spikes. And then um, after that, we can go back to the actual, uh, well, the spring of power and just get some stuff there. It looks like that's about it. Maybe a couple more down this way. Just wanna grab these and then get going because why not? Lightning should not hurt me because I have the helmet on. That's good. <laughs> Grab that one. And then I think that's about it. So like I said, we gotta go way over here to the well of, or the spring of courage. That's what I meant. <laughs> Let's get it done. So here at the, uh, what is this? The Farron grasslands. We should just be able to find this. I'll be able to fall all the way down here just like that and reach the spring of courage where we just wanna catch up with you real quick. We sort of know the deal with this one. Is this true? The goddess statue in that canyon has toppled? These are ill tidings, devout swordsman. That is the mother goddess statue. I implore you to help me re to restore her. Seek the golden spirit Farash, who loses lightning as she dances, or looses lightning as she dances across the heavens. When you have gained Farosh's claw, offer it at this spring. Will do, I'll take care of it, please. I beg this of you. So it updates again, of course. Um, offer the golden spirit Farosh's claw at the spring. I don't think photographing these does anything, so we can just go over here and drop it. Boom. Oh, it's not actually in the water, huh? Well, I guess I can make extra, extra sure. Yeah, you can't take a picture of it, but I can just, Hold it here, drop it, and there we go. Thank you, devout swordsman. I have sent a measure of my strength to the mother goddess statue. For this pious deed, I shall bestow upon you a small blessing, which of course is a topaz. So we've gotten a sapphire, ruby, and topaz out of these statue quests. With your aid, a measure of our strength has gone to restore the mother goddess statue, who dwells in the vast canyon. 
you should make a pilgrimage there in tribute. So the goddess statue of courage is complete. Answering the pleas, oh wait, this is a new one. The mother goddess statue. We'll do that in just a moment too then. Going all the way down now. Uh, this was of courage. To restore the top of mother goddess statue, you offered the golden spirit ferocious claw at the spring of courage. Assisting the goddess statues at the other springs will apparently help restore the mother goddess statue. And like I said before, the mother goddess statue has begun. So that is all the way back up here again. Um, right here, the mother goddess statue. Answering the pleas you heard from the goddess statues at the springs of wisdom, power, and courage has apparently restored the mother goddess statue. They directed you to visit the mother goddess statue in the forgotten temple. Sure thing, that's just gonna be right over here. So before it was toppled on the ground, is it still? Whoa, look at this, so cool. It's huge too, so so sparkly. I like it, I guess doing a picture doesn't do anything, but I'm glad that I did. Wow, this is awesome. So I guess I'll interact with it and just sort of see what happens. Whoa. A little intimidating, huh? Way up there. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers. I am deeply, deeply grateful for the aid you have provided to the statues of the springs. In recognition of your wisdom, power, and courage, I should like to present to you a sword. Kindly organize your belongings so that another sword may fit among them and return to me once this is done. Whoa, hold on, so we get a sword out of this? What kind of sword? Let's pray again. What is this about? Okay, I bestowed this upon you in recognition of your wisdom, power, and courage. White sword of the sky, whoa. A sword said to have once belonged to a hero from the sky. Its beautiful white blade stands out. When it's wielded, a strange yet heavenly breeze kicks up around you. Is this like from Tears of the, not Tears of the Kingdom, sorry, a Skyward Sword, or is it its own thing? Go and bring peace to the world. The mother goddess statue complete. Answering the pleas of the goddess statues at the three springs of wisdom, power, and courage has restored the mother goddess statue in the forgotten temple from whom you received the white sword of the sky. So this is so cool. I got myself another like really cool rare weapon. If I charge this up, I don't know if it's supposed to, huh? Interesting, I feel like it should have like some kind of special effect. It's beautiful white blade stands up. When it's wielded, a strange heavenly breeze kicks up around you. I'm not seeing that breeze, but maybe because we're not outside. This is so neat. So is there anything I can drop here that I definitely just want to get rid of? I mean, out of everything, it's either that or the other halberd, which that has attack up plus 10. You know what, sure, we'll leave it. <laughs> we can find more of those. That's amazing though. So I figure we'll head back to her house because this is absolutely one of those things I want to hang up. So it's so good that I got that one weapon rack. This is great. All right, we've made it back home. And just as we have before, and now that I'm out here, is there gonna be some kind of thing that happens? It doesn't seem like it. it seems like a normal sword to me. Is there any enemies around here I can potentially fight? Probably down there. Oh, right across this way. Maybe we could do some target practice really fast. There's certainly some enemies around here I could pick a fight with. Just enough to see if it does anything. Hey guys, uh, don't mind me. I just wanna see if this blows you away. Um, not really. So, I don't know if maybe the, the wind it's talking about is a bit more figurative, but obviously, this is a collectible sword, not a sword I'm supposed to really use too much, or at least that's my plan, because I don't know if we get another one if this breaks. It doesn't seem like we do. Maybe we could, but I don't want to risk it, so this is definitely going on the pedestal. But what a cool reward, right? That wasn't even planned by me. I just happened to get two uh, neat quest weapons in a row, two episodes in a row. Well, last episode we got the Fierce Deity Sword, and now we get this sword the, the white sword of the sky. So that's very, very cool. I'll put it over here to the left. Look at that, awesome. So yeah, definitely happy about that. We can keep the master sword for now, which definitely needs um, a new thing to be attached to it. 
So I think this time, I might just keep it simple. We'll do the silver moblin horn. Drop that there, go like this, pick it up. Awesome. So yeah, really great progress there. Just like in the previous episodes, whatever extra time I have, I think should be spent trying to get shrines. We have a couple that are still just marked on my map that we need to get done. So I'm thinking maybe this yellow one here, if I just take the Skyview Tower, I should be able to get to it without too much of an issue. So somewhere down in this direction, we should have another shrine to complete. And while we're flying down, I did remember, I haven't taken a picture of either of those swords that we just put on the pedestal. So I'll definitely have to do that for the compendium. Can't believe I forgot to, but you know, they're not going anywhere. So we'll just try to get that done by the end of today's episode. So if we get a little bit lower, oh, you know what? Maybe now's my chance. You know what? The Lionel was over here. I tried to fight it before, but my weapons weren't that strong. I didn't have any arrows left. I should probably take a swing in that really quickly because it definitely has some monster parts that I've yet to get as well. So let me do that really fast. I know a little bit of a detour, but a worthwhile one for sure if we can get it done. So where was that at? Oh wow, there's also definitely a Korok seed right there. If I've ever seen one. There's that Lionel. So we'll be fighting you in just a second. I'm also looking around just the mountainside to see if there's any caves. Not that I'm spotting, but I'm sure there are some around. Okay, let's be a bit careful. Where can I find a rock around here? Hmm. I'm not seeing any, but there, there's definitely gotta be one around. Uh, if I pull this up. Yeah, where are the rocks at? Weird. That doesn't seem right. There's gotta be one around somewhere. So if I can just find one really quick. Okay, here we go. Might be a little bit of a walk, but. <laughs> can grab this one. It'd probably be faster just to pick it up like this than it would be to run with it, right? Wonder if I can put it down like this. Would this count as the Korok seed or do I have to manually place it? I don't think I've ever done it this way, but we can find out in just a second. Right there. Hey, it worked! What do you know? Neat. Yeah. Oh, good to see a little Korok. That's our 20th one. Definitely have to cash it in at some point. So, I wanna pick a fight with you over here. You might end up seeing me, but even if you do, I think I could definitely pack a punch here. Let's use the Demon King's bow. And then just use that to get up a little bit closer. You're gonna get back up before I can do too much more, I'm sure of it. There we go. Uh, hi, okay, not good. I'm scared. Sidon, help, 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 help. Oh yeah, that's right. You have the very unfun to deal with. Uh, oh, okay, great. I'm so bad at fighting this dude, so bad at it. Uh, and I really don't have the most food, so if I really could just not take any more damage, that'd be great. Um, I'll get some extra speed. Actually, extra attack damage. Sounds splendid right now and get actual armor on. Hello, let me try to do that. I gotta be careful though, because it is cold here and I don't wanna take damage from that. Uh, but just even, uh, even that though, sets me off a bit. I'll do that. That at least gives me a little bit of armor. Where are you at? There you are. Gotcha. I gotta get over there fast. I gotta get over there fast, but we run so slow. We run so slow in the snow. Come on, mount. What sword do I have? This should be doing some good damage. Actually, I should probably do something like this if I can, because it's 100. Oh, yeah, okay. That was nice. That was really nice. But now I have to run. It's really hard to do that in the snow, though. Ah! Okay, somehow I survived. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Fighting this guy in the snow is such a chore so far. Okay, he's gonna do a big slam that I should be too far from for it to matter, the demon bow broke. All right, I might get a Savage Lionel bow as a reward for this. So if I could just do that and then run over there quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on. Do more damage. Okay, that wasn't so bad, but man, I am hurting right now. So we need some extra health here. Uh, I could get extra stamina, I have more of these? Uh, I guess so. What's gonna heal me up the most? Uh, I really should have planned this out better. I mean, this gives me cold resistance. I'm just gonna eat these up. 
There we go. And then I can put on my actual stuff for more armor. That feels pretty good. And then, come on, more bombs. That wasn't enough, that wasn't enough! <laughs> Run! Okay, hold on. Oh, I got him with that one. Somehow, some way. Okay, I don't know how I dodged that one, but I'm really happy to see it. Whoa, whoa, you get back here. You get back here. Here's my chance, here's my chance. Help me out, guys. No, not on you! What the heck? Come on! I can't believe that just happened. All right, not good, not good, not good. Ooh, great shot by whoever that was. Um, I need to get that, hop on. We should be doing 100 damage a hit now. It may be enough to get rid of you. Oh, it's close, it's close. Uh, yeah, let's get you. The lightning shot would be fantastic right now. Oh my, um, gotcha, but not enough. Oh, one of them gotcha. Come on, come on, come on. This could be it. Almost, there it is, finally. Jeez, what a pain. See ya. <laughs> cool, so let's see what we get out of this one. We definitely get a couple of things. We got the white maned Lionel Saber Horn. Awesome. Glad to get a picture of that. Anything else here? The Royal Halberd? I don't have a picture of this? How do I not have a picture? Didn't I just have one? Um, okay. And the white line. The white maned Lionel Mace Horn. All right. Three new pictures for our compendium is a fantastic thing to see. So, pick that up, grab all that. We get the white lined. Or <laughs> white maned Lionel Saber Horn. This blade like horn of a white maned Lionel can slash through just about anything. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Awesome. That is some amazing stuff there for sure. But uh, yeah, overall, really nice to see. I can't believe I haven't got, like this is also a Royal Halberd. How have I not gotten a picture of that? I don't know. It must have just been one of those things where I thought I already had a picture of it, so I just assumed that I did. Very odd situation. But let's uh, continue onward, because over there, I'm trying to get to that shrine. One step at a time, right? We'll get there. I don't know if there's really yeah, too much I can do but besides simply just running over. And I didn't see the shrine while flying around, but I definitely wouldn't have marked it if I didn't see it. So it's gotta be over there. I hope. Guess we'll find out in just a moment. I'm just gonna keep running. What is over there? Oh, that's a little Korok. Okay, let's mark that. Just like this. Hmm. What's going on with this? This looks like, is there anything on top of here? I mean, I know there's you running around, the blizzrobe. I can hear the shrine thing beeping. So that's at least something to keep in mind. Let me go ahead and get this back on. We're getting closer to something. I can build something here, but I don't really need to. Got some monsters over there. They're having a good time. Maybe we'll fight them after. But for right now, I wanna get over here. Get at least this shrine done. Any openings to caves around here? None that I'm spotting. So I guess it's just time to hop into this shrine. This is a really useful one to get too because we can just glide around to this side of the desert pretty easily. The Maya Mats Shrine. All right, so let's open this up and get it done. All right, so what do we got for this one? A route for a ball. So there's the socket for it. Where's the ball itself though? I guess over here. Okay. I'll get boosted up here then. Whoa, this is like a whole thing. So the ball gets spawned in over there. I can't just, yeah, fly over. <laughs> I was a little confused there for a second. It looks like I could. I'll try it one more time. No, you can't, all right. <laughs> Wonder if you got like a speed boost potion, would that be enough to get across? Who knows? But for now, I don't need to worry about it. What I need to figure out is the ball, which seems to be over here. Okay. What if I grab this and bring it down there? But then, what is all that about, I wonder? Also, could I just... I might be able to, actually. Hey, there we go. Cool. That has large zonai charge. 
So I mean, this seems like one of the balls for sure, but what's up with everything over here? It looks like there's an, another one. So maybe I could get up here somehow? Huh. Well, maybe if I get this down there, it will open up something here that I can actually reach a bit better. But would that even fit in that socket down there? I'm really confused. We're gonna go see. Oh. Well, uh, never mind. That didn't work out so well. So that's not what I'm supposed to do. Or maybe I can do that, but I just have to be faster. It definitely wouldn't fit in that part though. So I don't think I use that ball just to move forward with the, the puzzle. Let's get back up. And it's not over there anymore. Oh, it's over here. Okay. I'm a bit confused by this one because I don't think I could use it to jump up or anything, right? I mean, maybe I could. Am I supposed to do like a little circus act here? There's no way. There's no way that's what I'm actually supposed to do. Hold on. Would that work? I don't know. Uh. No, this thing ain't budging. It's like slowly moving. <laughs> Definitely not what I'm supposed to do. But I guess I could. Hold on. If I were to bring it all the way up, just like this, hold it for a second. Cause I'm just trying to get over it to figure out what I can do. And then slowly bring it back. Just like that. Then get up here and recall it. That's my best idea. And that's been most of my ideas is just, oh, can I, re can I sit on top of it and recall it? And that's what I usually do. Cause I think from up here, yeah, I can get it this way. Interesting. So what's the deal with this one? I'm guessing if I could just, yeah, just drop it, it destroys the momentum and we just keep, yeah, okay, cool. So now, this is where things get a little tricky. But what I think I have to do is, oh. It's not big enough. Oh! Here we go. Do this then. And see if that's good enough. Uh, and it shouldn't fit in there. Nice. We got it. That was so neat. I like that one. That was a fun puzzle. Okay. Boom. Drop it down there and we should be able to go through. We already got the treasure chest, so we're gonna finish up the shrine and head out of here. Awesome, so yeah, let's go ahead and boom, get this one done. All right, we've made it out of there, and that is a shrine done. I'm trying to see if there's any easier ones we can do. We only have a few more left on our marks. It's crazy, we've cleared out a lot of them. Uh, I say that, but then I feel like a lot of them are up here or something because I only have two available, right? Yeah, I have two available. Where are the other four? I have one here. The second there. I don't see the other ones. Are they up in the sky? Huh, not really. I'll have to figure out what those went. For now, though, this one seems pretty simple, right? I'd probably just want to launch from here, fly over, and get it done. So let's give that a try. All right, we're floating down. You can see the shrine right there. But what I haven't gotten is our dragon friend here. Also, there's another one. Do I have that? Where exactly is it? It looks like maybe about here. Sort of hard to say, but uh, I guess I could make it with the marker. Hold on, what am I doing? I for, I, I'm so used to not having any. That's right, I remember removing that one because I needed more markers. I was like, oh, I'll definitely would not forget about that. I forgot about it. <laughs> All right, heading over here, I see our dragon friend that I can maybe get a quick item out of. I don't know what we need from you. They don't really organize the inventory in a way that's easy enough to figure it out, but chances are I don't have the fang. This is one of the more annoying things to get, so if I just get down here a little bit more, I know you're gonna torch me up, but open wide. That should count, awesome. 
So I just need to wait for that to fly off. And then I will grab it. Okay, so we do have a shard of Dinaral's Fang. Never mind. That's okay. Let's get to this shrine that's nearby and down below. Right over here. It's pretty late, so it's hard to see if there's a cave around here. But at the least, I can grab this. We can worry about the rust later. We can always get back here more easily if we have the shrine. So, just wanna get right down here and get the shrine done. This is the Mayak Shrine here in the Elden Mountains. So what is this one about? This is Time Fly Catches, or Timely Catches. There's no F in there. Okay, Timely Catches. Hmm. I guess for this one, I probably just wanna stand on top of it. Ooh. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, so, yeah, it's gonna get launched unless I grab it in time. I see. Pick this up, and then, oh no. Time is of the essence. I just wanna get over here. And if I can, right as it's about to roll over, sort of, oh, a little nerve wracking, but I am able to get, get it here. The question is, where do I get it from here? Down this way? It doesn't fit down there. Don't know what I do with this thing just yet, but it can stay there for a second. How do I? What? A little confused. Buns here, but there's stuff in the way of it. I don't have to go under. Was there a button I was supposed to press somewhere? Oh, that answers the question, right? Um, let's switch bows, by the way. So switch to this royal bow. Oh, okay. So, didn't really do it right before, but I can just, hey, 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 wait, come on. Are you serious? All right, get back over. So really what I wanna do is not catch it myself, but instead, catch it with a well-timed attack. So right when it's like about to roll over. Now, nice, that was actually really well-timed. So there we go, that's gonna open up the next section. Let me go get my arrows back. And then I guess we'll try to get over there. Which, yep, launch me up and over, we'll be fine. I don't think the chest is in this room, so we'll move to the next one. The end is in sight, but let's take a look around first. Hitting that will surely do something. Move this thing. And I guess I can get launched here? Okay. <laughs> uh, wait right here. Whoa, whoa! That sent me up way higher than I was expecting. Oh, another one? Hold on, okay, I guess I was supposed to. There you go, right back up there for me. And then from this one then? Oh, I think I saw the treasure chest. Hold on. Uh, Yeah, right over here. So this is another timely catch. Ready? Yeah, oh no, no, it's water, it's water. I thought that was a never ending pit. I was like, I wanted to be really fast. So what is this then? Cool treasure chest. Large Zonai charge. So getting pretty similar rewards this time around. It, oh no. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't need it to be a big reward. I just want to be able to have the full completion of the shrine, chest included. So now that we've done that, run back over here and get all the way back up there again. So we just launch it. Get here. And what do I do with this thing? I guess I just have to race it down first and foremost. If I could just put it down there like that, it's gonna slowly start rolling. I will dive down. And then right as it's about to like get closer to us, it's about to start falling. Did I get it? I think I got it. Nice. All right, so with that, we can get through this one. That should be the shrine finished. There we go, that was really cool. So I'm taking it back to the skies for this one. I just want to uh, 
head over in this direction as soon as I can and go to that one. The one we just put on the marker, I feel like would be the best. Was that a falling star over there or was there a Korok seed? It can't be a Korok seed because that's a, yeah, that's the giant Korok forest. I thought that was a big body of water. I was like, maybe there's a Korok seed just floating over top of it. But now I see what I'm looking at. Uh, so we just need to head right down that way. A little bit of a far fall, but sooner or later, I'll make it over. Have I been down there? I have. So I don't have to worry about that too much. I just wanna be able to get to this shrine so that we can get that done. And then I think we'll be good to head back home. I wanna be able to cash in my orbs. I wanna be able to take pictures of those two weapons. We've definitely gotten a lot of good stuff done today. This is our, I think, fourth shrine of the day. So while there's still a while to go when it comes to getting every shrine, we keep on getting four or five done each episode from here on out. I mean, that would be pretty good. I don't know if we'll actually run into that many. But I will certainly try. Okay. The game is starting to notice that we're close to it. What is that down there? That's definitely something. A little bit closer. And this one certainly won't be a shrine quest, so that's good to know. Means that we don't have to worry about anything crazy. We just show up, walk in, and get it done. So, right over here, the Kikakin Shrine. Let's get started. Whoa, this one's dark. Shining in darkness, the Kikakin Shrine. Well, I can sorta kinda cheat with this one, uh, if I wanted to. Over here we have the glow armor. It doesn't do much, but uh, technically I could, whoa, it's spooky down here. So this seems to be some kind of, oh, I need a key for that one. Is that what I was gonna say? I mean, maybe if I could read that. That's the exit of the shrine. So I don't know if I need to use the swords or the, the, the seeds, but at the least I can run through here. I don't know if I trust that. Is this gonna squish me? <laughs> it didn't, luckily. Is that a button? I mean, I can move it. And on the other side is the treasure chest, okay. I guess we found the secret of the shrine, at least one of them. We get an amber, nice little reward. Is there anything else up there? Doesn't seem like it. Neat. Not anything more up there. Oh my, this is really spooky. Oh no, oh no, another treasure chest. Let me just go and grab that really fast. It's always neat when the shrines have more than one. We get a luminous stone. All right, be fast about it, be fast about it. Uh, okay, we're fine, we're fine. What's going on over in this direction? Definitely a way to go over there. Another path over here, watch out for this. Don't get squished. Luckily it doesn't move super fast. And what's going on with this one? Yet another treasure chest, wow. All over the place with this, huh? A small key, all right, so a key to a door inside a shrine of light. That's what we wanna see, but I guess for now, I pick this back up and we explore the other corners of this map. Okay, it doesn't go all the way, so that's at least nice. Hmm. I don't know if this one will be the same. But these ones almost touch, but they don't quite. Oh wow, what's going on in here? We got some like laser lights we gotta dodge. Anything more? That's the way we came in from, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so can we find yet another treasure chest down here? I'd be really hopeful of that. There is, awesome. So grab this one. And we get an opal. So what's that, three or four treasure chests with rewards in it, one of them with a key? I think I can find my way back on my own. Let's take a right here, and then take another right there, and we have returned. So, I just want to, real fast, just check the walls here for anything. Let's go ahead, use our key to open this door up and finish off the shrine. A fun one for sure, but definitely on the quicker side of things. All right, we've made it back home. And as you can see, I don't know, I went a little too far. We should be able to, okay, Link, calm down. Get back up here. We should be able to take a picture of these two if I haven't already. So 
Boom, Fierce Deity Sword, glad to have it. So cool. And then over here, the White Sword of the Sky. Really cool to just get those sort of in our collection. You know, we're making some good progress with the Compendium for sure if we take a look. Uh, with the weapons, does it tell me 147 out of 175? So we have 28 left to go. That still seems like quite a lot, but definitely good to see that progress being made. Um, do we have all the Zora stuff? Hold on. I noticed that was a Zora sword, but had nothing next to it. We have this ink picture, right? I'd imagine we do. Yep, Zora longsword. Okay, cool. So. Yeah, we've done pretty good with everything throughout, throughout this game, but there's still plenty more to go. That was great. There's still, uh, like I said, I think a couple of side quests that we have unlocked that I definitely need to focus on, and that's not even counting the ones I've yet to find. I, from what I can check, there was a lot more, but maybe a couple of these I could focus on in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.